Hello everyone, once again welcome back to All About Mathematics. If you like our content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. So, in this video, we are going to discuss the question in ODPD question. We will discuss some questions and we will cover the rest of the questions in the next video. Mein cover so, let us start with the first question. The question says that, let u x t be the solution of wave equation. Wave equation we given given delta u by delta e square minus of delta u by del x square equals to 0. Where x is between 0 to pi and t is greater than 0. With the initial condition u at x 0 equals to sin x plus sin 2 x plus sin 3 x. And del u by del t at x 0 equals to 0. And x is between 0 to pi. And the boundary condition u at 0 t equals to u at pi t equals to 0. And t is greater than equals to 0. Then the value of u pi by 2 pi. We have to find value at pi by 2 pi. So, as given that, this one is wave equation. So, if we take idea wave equation. So, wave equation can be written in the form u t t equals to c square u x x here. And u at x 0 equals to f of x and boundary, uh, another boundary condition del u by del t at point x0 equals to gx and u at 0 t equals to u at l t equals to 0. Then u of x t, u of x t can be written in the formula as 1 by 2 f x plus c t plus f of x minus of c t plus 1 by 2c integration between x minus ct to x plus ct g xi d xi here. So, if we compare from this given equation, we get here, since u t t equals to c square u x x here. So, by comparing from this equation, u t t equals to u of x x. So, this one is implying here c equals to 1 here. If c equals to 1, f of x equals to sin x plus sin 2 x plus sin 3 x and g of x equals to 0 here. And rest condition are same as the above. So, we can write it as here c equals to 1, f of x equals to here sin of x plus of sin of 2x plus of sin of 3x and g of x as given as equals to 0 and then third condition which is equals to u at 0 t which is equals to u at pi t which is equals to 0 here. So l equals to here by comparing from these l can be written as here pi. So u of x t by substituting values in this formula, g of x equals to 0. This one is implying g of xi must be 0. So, this value is tending to 0 here. So, we have to find value of this function. So, u at x t can be written as here 1 by 2 f x plus c t since f of x is in this form. So, first we replace values f x plus t plus f of x minus of t here. So, we have to find value for which function here? Value at pi by 2 and pi here. So, x can be written as here pi by 2 and t can be written as here pi. So, by substituting value in this formula, pi by 2 and pi, we can write it as here 1 by 2 f of pi by 2 plus pi plus of pi f of pi by 2 minus of pi here or we can write it as here 1 by 2 f of 3 pi by 2 plus f of minus of pi by 2 here. So, by substituting values in f of x, we can write it as in the form of, since f of x equals to sin x, sin 2x and sin 3x, so f of 3 pi by 2. So, f of 3 pi by 2 equals to sin x, so sin of 3 pi by 2 plus of sin 2x here, as we can see here, sin 2x and sin 3x. So, sin of 2x can be written as here 3 pi plus 3x sine of 9 pi by 2 here. By simplifying this, sine 3 pi by 2 can be written as here sine of 3 pi by 2 equals to minus of 1 here plus sine of 3 pi equals to 0 here. And sine of 9 pi by 2 can be written as here sine 9 pi by 2 equals to plus 1 here. Or by simplifying this, we can write it as 0 here. And next we have to find value. Well, for minus of pi by 2, so sine minus of pi by 2 equals to f of minus of pi by 2 equals to minus sine minus pi by 2 plus of sine 2 pi here since 2 into pi by 2 which is equals to minus of pi sine minus pi plus sine of here 3x so which is equals to minus of 3 pi by 2. 
So by simplifying this, we can write it as a sine minus of pi by 2 equals to minus 1 plus sine pi equals to 0. Similarly, sine of minus 3 pi by 2 minus 3 sine of minus sine theta equals to minus of sine theta here. So by simplifying this, we can write it as minus and sine 3 pi by 2 equals to minus of 1. So this one is minus of 1 here or by simplifying this, this one is plus 1, this one is minus 1 which is equals to 0 here. So we can write it as u at pi by 2 pi equals to, if we replace value of 3 pi by 2 and minus of pi by 2, we can write it as 0. So this one equals to 0 here. So by comparing from options here we get u at pi by 2 and pi equals to 0. So our option D is correct answer. Now come to the next question. Now the next question is if the ordinary differential equation x square delta to phi divided by dx square plus x d phi by dx plus x square into phi equals to 0 x is greater than 0 has a solution of the form phi of x equals to x raised to the power r sum of n equals to 0 to infinite a n x raised to the power n where a n is r constant and a 0 does not equals to 0 then the value of r square plus 1 is we have to find value of r square plus 1 here so first of all as this one is differential equation so we can write this differential equation as x square d to phi divided by d x square plus x into d phi divided by d of x plus x square into phi equals to 0 here. So by simplifying this we can write it as here d to phi divided by d x square plus 1 by x d phi divided by d x plus of phi equals to 0 here. So by comparing from ideal equation of differential equation which is of the form d to phi divided by d x square plus p of x into d phi by d x plus of qx equals to 0 then by comparing from this equation we can write it as here p of x which is equals to 1 by x and q of x equals to 1 here. So in the series solution p0x can be written as here limit x is tending to x0 x minus of x0 into p of x and q at 0, q 0 x is equals to limit x is tending to x 0, x minus x 0 square q of x here. So by substituting values in this formula, we can write it as here, limit x is tending to 0, x minus x 0 can be written as x. p of x is given as 1 by x, so 1 by x which is equals to 1. Similarly, q 0 x is equals to limit x is tending to 0, x square into 1 which is equals to 0. So our indices equation, indicial equation in CD solution can be written as r into r minus 1 plus p0 into r plus q0 equals to 0. So by substituting value in this formula we can write it as here r into r minus 1 plus r change value of p0 equals to 1 and q0 equals to 0. So this one equals to 0. By simplifying this, we can write it as r square minus of r plus of r equals to 0. This one is implies r square equals to 0. So r must be equals to 0 or 0. There are two values for r. So in the question, we have to find r square plus 1 since r equals to 0. So r square plus 1 can be written as here 0 square plus 1 because r equals to 0. So this one equals to 1. So 1 is our final answer. I hope you understand the explanation. Next question is, if equation d2y divided by dx square minus of 3 dy by dx equals to lambda y, where x is between 0 to pi, y0 equals to y pi equals to 0, are orthogonal with respect to the weight function wx, then wx is. Here we have to find value of weight function. So, in the ideal form, differential equation can be written as a2x y double dash x plus a1x y dash x plus of a 0 x y of x plus lambda of y x. So by comparing from this equation we can write it as a 2 x is equals to 1 a 1 x equals to minus of 3 and a 0 x equals to 0 here. So weight function w x can be written as here exponential integration a 1 x minus of a 2 dash x divided by a 2 x dx here. So by simplifying this we can write it as here exponential of 
even x. What is even? Even x equals to minus of three. So minus of three minus a two dash. Differentiation of a two. A two is a constant function. So differentiation of a two equals to zero divided by a two. A two equals to one here. So by simplifying this, we can into dx. We can write it as the exponential of minus of three. Integration dx, which is equal to e raised to the power minus of 3x. So by comparing from options, e raised to the power minus 3x is our option B is correct answer. Now come to the next question. In the next question, given that let u x y be the solution of the first order partial differential equation x into del u by del x plus x square plus pi into del u by del y, which is equal to u for all x y belongs to R. Satisfying u at two y equals to y minus of four y belongs to R. Then the value of u one two is we have to find value of u one two. So if we compare this equation from ideal equation, p x p into u of x plus q into u of y equals to any function which is equals to R. Then By Lagrange's equation, we can write it as here dx by p, which is equals to d y by q, which is equals to d z d u by function r here. So by comparing from this equation, we can write it as here dx by x equals to d y by q, which is equals to x square plus y and d u by r equals to u here. So by simplifying this, if we take first two terms. First and second term, we can write it as here x square plus y into dx, which is equals to x dy, or we can write it as x square dx, which is equals to x dy minus of y dx, or dx can be written as here x dy minus of y dx divided by x square integrated both side. We can write it as here x equals to y by x plus c one. This one is our equation first. Again, from first and third part, from first and third part, we can write it as here dx by x equals to du by y integrate both side log of x log of x equals to log of u, and we have to take arbitrary constant which is equals to plus of log of c2, or we can write it as here c2 equals to u by x. This one is our equation second. So by Cauchy's problem, c1 or c2 can be written as c2 equals to phi of c1 here. So by substituting value of c2 and c1, u by x is equal to x minus of y by x into function phi. This one is phi function. Or by simplifying this, we can write it as here u of x y is equal to x into phi of x square minus of phi divided by x here. So by comparing from given equation, in the given equation, u at two y equals to y minus four. So u at two y is equals to y minus of four. So y minus four is equals to x into phi of x as two. So x as two here we replace x as two. Two square. Minus of y is y divided by two, or we can write it as here y minus four divided by two is equal to phi of four minus y divided by two, or by simplifying this, if we replace y minus four or four minus y, let four minus y divided by two equals to m here, so we can write it as here minus of m equals to phi of m here. So, phi of x square minus y, x square minus y by x, as her, her, our function is in this form, phi of x square minus y divided by x. So we can write it as here minus of x square minus y divided by x here. So by replacing this equation, then you equation third in equation second. Or equation start because equation second is this one. So u of x y can be written as here. U of x y can be written as here x into 
pi of this function which is equal to y minus of x square divided by x. So we have to find value of u at 1, 2. So u at 1, 2 is equal to x as 1. So 1 into y as 2. So 2 minus 1 by 1 which is equal to 1. So our final answer is 1 for this question. This is last question of this video. I hope you understand the explanation. Thanks for watching.